Oh, having trouble. Take a seat. Have a drink. You look like a man who takes himself too seriously. Want my opinion? You need to lighten up. What's up, Batman fans? BRB Stormbreaker here with my final Arkham Asylum review, at least until I get some more figures. Uh, we got the Series 1 Scarecrow. So, here's the box. Let's see. See, Scarecrow's right in there. And here. Let's see. Let's see, he's got Joker, uh, Scarecrow, Batman, and Harley Quinn. Pretty simple. Based on the top superhero game of all time, which I totally agree with. So, yeah, pretty much the same packaging as all the other. Batman ones. So that's it. So let's get them out of the package now. Alright, so here he is unpackaged and this guy looks looks creepy. I mean, he was pretty creepy in the game. Always giving Batman the fear talks and all that. I mean, he's like an anorexic guy. But they did a really good job of depicting him though in the game. He's a pretty sweet character. Um, so yeah, this is him. He comes with his bag of fear gas. Um, let's see, so let's show you. Uh, you just see how creepy his face looks. I mean, they put a lot of detail into this. Like, each individual stitching, you can see. See? All the stitching holding him together. Um, there's a little rope around his neck. His ragged cloth right here. His pants are all stitched up. And just goes some wrappings around his feet. Then you can see his toes. Right here, his bag of fear gas. And right here, this part's pretty cool. You see the hand with where he injects the toxin into you. The needles are kind of bent. Well, some of them are. Um, other than that, it's, pre it's pretty good detail, though, put on it. There's his bag. You see, like, his ribs and his spine and all that. Pretty nasty. Pretty nasty stuff. So articulation wise, his waist can move, his head can do a full 360, it can kind of go up and down a little bit, a little bit left and right, um, the arm right here can move at the, the joint up here, um, it can move at the elbow, and the hand can actually rotate, see, this hand can, oops, this hand can rotate as well. Um, same applies here. It bends at the elbow. It can go in and out. There is no knee articulation on him. Just like the Bane figure I reviewed, there's no articulation on the knees. Except him, you can spin his feet around. So I guess you could say, yeah, there's some articulation in the feet. Um, just like all the other Arkham Asylum figures, not that much articulation put into him. But there is a lot of good detail put in it. I mean, there is a lot. I mean, I really like the detail in this guy. Alright, so that's Scarecrow. Now let's do a size comparison. Alright, so size comparison. So you can see he's a little bit shorter than everyone else. We got the DC Direct Sinestro Corpus Batman, the Movie Master's Joker, and Movie Master's Scarecrow. So you see he's like a little bit of a hunchback. Um, bending over, he kind of takes away from the height, but eh, it's, he's still a great figure. If you compare faces, I mean, I mean, come on, whose face is better? I mean, of course you would go with Arkham Asylum Scarecrow compared to this Scarecrow. I mean, it's way better. I mean, there's no comparison. There's no competition. This guy's got nothing on him. So, other than that. Oh, Joker fell over. Other than that, um, it's a great figure. I mean, I mean, just like the detail put into him. He may not be at he may not be a normal six inch size, but he still got lots of good detail in him, and I would recommend it. I mean, he's pretty creepy looking when you look at him. But yeah, so this is my review. Um, I'm hoping to get the Arkham City action figures when they come out. 
There's uh, the new Harley Quinn outfit, um, Robin, and I believe they're also making a Batman without his mask on. So like the Bruce Wayne Batman, you could say. I'm hoping to get those, and when, when I do, I'll do a review on them. When I get the game, I'll do a review on the game so you guys can see the gameplay and all that, how it works. I'm going to be buying the um, Special Ed Edition, the Battering controller for the PlayStation 3. So I'll do a review on the controller. I mean, the controller looks pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, all this stuff is going to be happening in about, what is it? Arkham City comes out in about 22 days from now. So when it comes out, you'll, you'll know to look for a review online. Of course, I'll be posting this stuff for you guys. Um, so this is my review for the Arkham Asylum Scarecrow. I hope you liked it. Uh, look for my look at my other videos. Got some more coming your way. And thanks for watching. And this is BRB Stormbreaker.